Park Lane forms the edge of Mayfair, an urban wall that fronts central London's largest open space, Hyde Park. Park Lane is where privilege meets popular energy. In the 18th century, a brick wall running along the lane divided them completely. Now a traffic artery, it's easy to see through, but hard to cross. Appropriately, Mayfair's polite grid of streets and terrace houses rises up in a great wave. But this wave itself sets the form for another building type, the hotel. Often more than twice the height of the houses in the surrounding streets, they offer many more people views into the landscape across the lane than the aristocratic mansions once did. The Commission for the Four Seasons Hotel offered us two wonderful opportunities. The first, in urban terms, was to add and complete what seemed an arbitrary termination to the building with a new roof line and a glass wall. And the second, from the inside, was to offer occupants the views from this most extraordinary location in London. The new brim to this roof floats above a coping that is placed at the perimeter of the original plan form of the building. It's separated by a glass wall that follows the outline sensuously around the building, creating openings for very specific views from the interior. The rooftop location is a place where the physical world below joins the world for the imagination above. Its tactile qualities stimulate sensations, sight, sound, smell, and above all, touch. This rejuvenates the body and stimulates the mind, a good preparation for the mental and physical demands of urban life. As you enter the spa, you pass Stephen Cox's intriguing evocations of animate bodies. Abstraction turns to realism as the view opens before you. When a manicurist calls you for treatment, your hands have taken over from the horizon as the center of attention. Water is present throughout the spa, here flowing over another of Stephen Cox's sculptures, guarding the threshold to the immersion and massaging of your body to come. Water appears as vapor in the steam room, condensing on the glass door and on the static body within. Jets of water begin the body's revival. Changing light symbolizes changing moods. By walking into the pool, the reanimated body animates the water. Water and body achieve dynamic equilibrium. As the body emerges from water, air and fire combine around it in the sauna. The pretreatment space offers a chance to relax between the sensations of water, air, fire, and the massage to come. Around a half, more stone sculptures imply living forms within. Just as the folding screens conceal your body, now ready for active treatment. As your treatment is prepared, you can again enjoy the view until the billowing fabric focuses attention on the inside. Its soft surface anticipates the soothing action of the masseur's hands, and touch again supersedes sight, tactility over image. All tension gone, the world is seen anew. Relaxing in a post-treatment booth anticipates new experiences. Physical comfort 
and mental stimulation seem as one. Mm. 